Okay, we're gonna go pick some more green beans because guess what? It's supposed to thunderstorm. I'm just joking. I'm fine with that. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come to a peace with the rain here <laughs> at some point in time. But yes, it's supposed to thunderstorm again. So I'm gonna pick these green beans. Love to have your help. There they are. I haven't done too much more out here since what I showed you, but definitely got uh, some green beans that need picking. So, I've been feeling really weird lately. <laughs> when am I not feeling weird? That would be a more appropriate question. When am I just like, this is wonderful and everything is fine? No, there's always gotta be something. So, recently I've just been feeling extremely off balance, off kilter, feeling like something's coming, feeling like there's going to be a big change. I feel like I'm supposed to just be waiting and resting and waiting for that. But at the same time, I'm like, I hate that feeling. I do not like feeling like you're in between stuff waiting for something to happen. I'd rather make something happen so that it's, it's done and I know what we're doing. So instead of just being chill, um, I've been looking for stuff. I've been looking for property, even though I said I wasn't going to have been looking for property. I've been looking at horses and I would like to stop that. I don't think I need to be looking for horses. I feel like if I'm supposed to have a horse right now, like one will just drop in my lap. Not like literally because that would be weird, but um, kind of like the bees. Like I wasn't looking for bees. It was just all of a sudden like, hey, do you want some bees? I have some bees. I'll bring them over and bam, now we have bees. Same thing with a horse. So if you have a horse and you're like, hey, I have a horse, I'm going to bring it over. Just, I'm not going to stop you. But I just don't know that I should be like pursuing after that right now. I just felt first drops of rain. So the other thing is, is that why I'm wondering if I feel this way because I actually need to make changes and figure out things or if I'm just like getting sick. My kids actually got sick recently. And I'm like, maybe I'm just sick. Have you ever had that where you're like, everything is horrible. My life is a disaster. And really you just needed to like eat something and take a nap. I think I'm going to wait and make sure everyone gets through the sickness before I do anything drastic, like, you know, move or buy a horse or something like that. Maybe we just need to wait it out and make sure, make sure I'm not just like getting sick. Being a spiritual being in a physical body, it's rough, you know? Why do green beans have to be the same color as the leaves? You know? Cause then it's like, it's very easy to overlook them and then miss some of them. The other thing that this brings up is I'm like, why can't you just be happy with what you have? And like, don't get me wrong. I am very happy with what we have. I am extremely grateful for our life, for where we live, for my kids, just for everything. I'm extremely grateful. But I'm like, why isn't that just enough then? Why can't I just be 100% content with that and just be like, well, this is it for the rest of for the rest of my life. Why don't I just stay here? Why do I want to move? <laughs> why, why do I want anything different? Lots of philosophical questions today. Anyways, I probably should just focus all this energy into the stuff we already have, like the garden. So. It's not a ton, but it is definitely something. And combined with the other ones I have, I should be able to can up a decent amount of green beans. So that is awesome. Here's the path we were doing the other day. I bet you guys have been eating the tomatoes. It's a bunch of these little ones that are, are ripe. It's really need to come through here and pick those as well. But I know they've been going after my big fat heirlooms. Let's see. Absolutely. You terrible chickens. Ooh. Look at how bad they are. At least, oh, that's a good one. We'll pick that one. <gasps> Look at this one. No. Chickens and gardens don't mix. And really, I'm not like mad because I didn't put up a fence. It's my fault. So we were going to put up a fence. Then things just, there's just been a lot. So stop eating my tomatoes. Stop it. Stop eating them. Funny enough, they don't eat cherry tomatoes. So there will always be cherry tomatoes, just not the big fat, nice slicing tomatoes that I like. So that's fine. So I did prune and tie up a bunch of the tomatoes. And then some of the ones I pruned, I just stuck in this bucket with water. Like last time I did that and I just, I stuck them in a bucket. I was like throwing them out in a bucket and then it rained and then they all grew roots and rooted. So I'm like, well, 
if they happen to root, then I'll plant them where there's tomatoes missing and we'll get another later crop of tomatoes, which would be great. But if they don't, I don't really care. That's not, it doesn't matter. So the rain and the wetness has definitely been an issue this year. I'm gonna show you the problems we've had with the corn. So this is the sweet corn that I had planted. It's an heirloom variety. A bunch of the ears didn't pollinate. And so I was reading about that. I was like, why did this happen? And number one, they were like planting blocks, which I'm like, okay, it's not technically a block. It's more like a few, a few couple rows. Um, but at the same time, like you think you could pollinate. Let's see if this one, we'll see how this one did. At this point. Oh, okay. Well this one, this one kind of did pollinate. So, well now I look silly saying that they <laughs> pollinate. I'm telling you when I checked them before, a bunch of them just had not pollinated. So this one did, but you can see the other problem. I stopped picking them because they hadn't pollinated, but do you see all this mold? Uh, here, you want it? I know you want it. Really? Rude. So the problem we had with the corn, uh, with the other sweet corn too, is so the other sweet corn went past its time where we wanted to eat it. Whoops. So then I was like, well, I'll just dry it and use it for the chickens in the winter. But then came the problem of how to dry that much corn. And I tried looking it up on the internet and it was either like someone who grew two ears of corn, you know, and they're like, hang it in your house. And I'm like, oh, we've got a, like a field of it over there. I'm not going to hang it in my house. Or it was like commercial productions and they're talking about these huge grain things and fans. And I was like, uh, we're not, we're not using like tractors here. Like we're in between. So this is the problem. <laughs> so, so I picked some of it. Yes. I still haven't put the pots away. Guys, my life. So I picked some of it and just put it in here and some of it definitely molded. Um, but some of it didn't. And I think, let's see, let's take a look here. Yeah. Like just, ew. <laughs> it's just so wet. I think I should have hung it, but like, where am I going to hang? This is so little compared to what we had. Where would I even hang it? I, I don't know what I was supposed to do. So I did like watch other YouTubers and there were some that like would take them and put them in like a greenhouse. So they're protected from the elements, but nothing can come in and get at them. So I was like, I don't have a greenhouse. I don't have a high tunnel. I don't have any of those things. I have a shed where the door doesn't even close properly. And that's pretty much it. So then I was like, maybe we can just leave it on the stalks. So here's the field. I use that term loosely. This is our, our corn field. Um, so what happened was any of the, any of the ears that were close to the ground, the chickens ate, which I'm fine with because whatever. But let me take you to around to the middle. You see this? See how they're all taken down? Like the whole field is just, it's taken down. The whole thing. And we're pretty cool. Pretty sure this is raccoons. We have a major raccoon problem here. I say problem, like we have raccoons. It's not like it's a problem. It's just, they are problematic to a lot of things like our chickens and our corn. So all of these are, are now on the ground and they've eaten eaten a lot of the corn um and pretty much pretty much like I can't leave them out here to dry and then the other thing is because it's been raining like every day you saw on the other one they're not drying they're just rotting everything's just molding and rotting um so I can't I just don't know what to do because I want to grow corn to um feed in the winter to use as like animal feed all right, let's get this one. Let's see if any of them. I'm just fascinated to know. All right, so this one dried okay. But, I mean, well, it's still got some rot at the top. But, like, a field of this size, and I'm only going to get, like, a basket full of corn. <laughs> like, 
it's not a good yield. That's not good. So if you have any idea of like the best way to dry corn that is in a field, but it's always wet and muggy and gross outside, please let me know because the, I feel like this year it was a good learning experience, but ultimately it was kind of a fail. I feel like it's only a matter of time before the raccoons just come in here and eat these. Also, I'll go out here before it starts raining. I want to clean the chicken coop real fast. You can see that we have hay in there right now. Well, hay, straw, whatever that we bought. I was, I have been raking up grass clippings to use in there because they're free. And um, have you ever heard the phrase, make hay while the sun shines? Yeah, apparently that's not just a saying because if it's like raining all the time, <laughs> the grass never dries. So like I had grass clippings and I couldn't, couldn't rake them up because they're just wet all the time. And we actually had to go ahead and break down and buy like a little bale of, of straw, which is fine, but I'm just like, oh my gosh, sustainability. Watch out, pumpkin! Run! Ooh, it's starting to rain! It's starting to rain! Oh, it's raining! So at least we did that. Yay! Pick green beans. I'm gonna bring them in. Bring in those pumpkins as well and the melons. We cleaned the chicken coop. Look at all we did today. Whew. Hopefully my kids will start feeling better. And um, hopefully you're having a really good day. Thanks for coming over. Oh guys, look at look at what happened. <laughs>